Guys, how you doing? Right, today I'm going to show you three variations of the lap pull down you can perform here at JP's gym. Now, not all of these bars are created equal, and what I mean by that is where your hands are placed and the line of pull is going to dictate where you're going to feel the contractions the most. Now, yes, all of these are going to stimulate the lats, but from different angles, and I'm going to kind of show you some of that today. Now, just a little bit of anatomy when it comes to your lats, right? So they're involved extension of the shoulder which is essentially bringing the arm down and into the side involved in adduction so bringing the arm through here internal rotation yeah they're also involved in a slight traction of the shoulders and they actually flex the spine a little bit as well all right so my favorite bar to use here to make sure that i'm getting full contraction at the last is the neutral grip pull down which i'm going to show you just now right guys so grab your bar Get yourself nice and secure, so thighs underneath the pad. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift my heels up a little touch as well to get a little bit more stable. And I'm going to lean back slightly. And I'm going to drop my shoulders down away from the ears, or what we call to press the shoulders. Just a little touch, and I'm going to start to pull down. So notice my elbows are driving down to, into my sides. Big back contraction. Lock it in. Stretch up. Now again, notice I'm not letting the bar just fly up, I'm still controlling it. Front shoulders again, start to pull, big squeeze. Stretch up first, elevate the shoulders slightly, drop them down, start to pull. Okay, so what I'm doing there, to initiate the pull, I'm not pulling from here, I'm dropping the shoulders down and I'm pulling from here. Once I start, I'm going to continue that and then start to squeeze the arms to finish it off. All right? Just a quick one as well, right? Try to make sure that you're not pulling initially from here because this will happen and you'll lose tension at the back muscles, all right? So that's right, so the wide lap pull down variation. What we're going to do, or what I like to do, is so sit my hands here on the groove of the bar. Same as we mentioned before with the thigh position and the foot position. Now, lean back a little bit on this one. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pull that bar down to the collarbone. My wrists and elbows are nice and straight throughout. And I come back up. I'm just going to elevate the shoulders a little touch. Now to go again, drop the shoulders down. And just continue to pull throughout. Now we can change the angle on this as well by leaning back. Now if you notice with that where my elbows are going now, we're actually working a little bit more of the upper back, teres major, and the rear deltoids as well. Okay guys, the third variation we're going to show you is the sternum pull down. Now we're actually going to try and get this bar to come down to the lower portion of the chest plate. You're probably going to feel it a little bit more through the lower portion of the lap muscles as well, and more through the front of your arms. So hands just outside the shoulders, Always try to make sure when you're using a straight bar that your wrists and elbows are always stacked. All right, if you want to protect your elbows and wrists, I would highly recommend that you do that. So find a hand position that suits you the most. This one we're going to lean back a little touch. Same thing. Pull them down. Got the shoulders down. Pull them away from the ears. Again, notice I'm not trying to force that spar down in my chest. I'm focusing on getting my back as tight as possible. And again, if you notice where the elbows are going, this is where you're going to feel that contraction. 